What is going on guys? So today I have something a little bit different for you guys. So what I want to talk about is gear that you could have as a beginner photographer that I find as essential. You know, I've been shooting for about one and a half years, almost two already. And I feel like I wish I had a better list of things to have as a beginner photographer. And I know that there's so many great videos about this already, but the problem with it is that there's just so many opinions and I just felt like I should make it clear before I take this video and go further is that these are formally my opinions and that the camera that you start with or the gear that you choose ultimately will not make you a better photographer or filmmaker. The most important thing of becoming a good photographer or a filmmaker is just creating content that your audience will enjoy and most importantly you will enjoy. So before we start off with that, the first thing on this list that I recommend as a beginner photographer is the most obvious one and that's a camera. In reality, it doesn't matter what kind of camera you have, but most importantly, just the content. So some cameras that I actually recommend for starting off as a beginner photographer is the Sony a6000 and the Canon T7i. Now the reason why I chose both of these is because these are almost just as similar as their upper class cameras and that's more towards Sony as for instance right now I'm recording this video on a Sony a6500 and to be quite honest for photography and if you only stick into photography you won't notice too much of a difference but when it comes to filmmaking it may be a different story. So I would recommend between the two and the reason why I chose the Sony a6000 it's because it has a really good, great autofocus system that compares to the camera that I have right now. And it's only $600, so that's the best part. I will be keeping a link of both of these in the description. So the second item on this list that I find very important as a photographer and even more as a filmmaker has to be a good filter, specifically more like an ND filter. Now, an ND filter is just another way of Hi, what I could simplify is as glasses for your camera. And the reason why I like these so much is because when I didn't use them, you still won't get those soft highlights that you're really looking for. Now with this filter right here, this is my Freewell variable ND filter. I find it very useful for so many reasons because usually with that problem of having that shutter speed, you're constantly adjusting it as well too to figure out what lighting works best. But with this ND filter, you can just crank it right here in the dials on your fingers and you're adjusting light just like that. Like if I hold this guy a little closer to you, see how dark that is? Well, I can always adjust it too to make it even darker or lighter. Now, another thing with these ND filters is that they can get very pricey. I know ND filters that go for 200 a piece and some of that go for $20. I mean, pick and choose whatever you want, but just know that you should probably invest into the more expensive one if you have a more expensive lens. Now the third item in this list that I find pretty important too would have to be extra batteries. Now, the reason why I would say extra batteries is because Chris, of course, why would you say extra batteries? Now, the, I emphasize this much more than you would think because I've had constant shoots that end up going bad because A, I forgot a battery, B, it was dead, or C, forgot to charge it, and it malfunctioned. So I think it's always great to have additional batteries and you can usually find them pretty cheap for your camera on Amazon. I wouldn't recommend going to Best Buy because going to those kind of stores usually tend to cost a lot for a battery. I remember seeing one that I had for my camera that was 50 bucks just for one battery. And on Amazon, I could find two of them for 20 bucks. So you can just kind of see right there how much money you can save with the camera that you choose. So the fourth item on this list, also similar to the additional batteries, is additional SD cards. This is also really important because I can give you guys a story not too long ago that actually really, really made me worried, but I think it's good to have multiple because you never know what can happen. Another thing too is that once you run out of space out of one, you probably won't even realize that you've used it all. And you would think that you would, but most of the time you'll just shoot and shoot and shoot on the camera until you run out of space. And that's pretty normal, don't get me wrong. But like I said, having multiple can come in very handy if there's a situation like you lost it, you ran out of space, 
or you just want to have more. I don't know. So the very last item on this list would have to be a tripod. It's very much. So I think a tripod can come in really, really, really helpful when you need it for situations like this, or even when you want to just take photos of yourself or record a YouTube video by yourself. Because when I wanted to make videos, I was like, you know, I don't need a tripod. I can just put it on a book or whatever. But if you're at the park and there's a brick or there's no books, you're just, you can't just put it on the ground and expect it to look at you, you know? Like, you, I'm pretty sure you'd like to have some advantages of moving it to wherever you want. If you're going to do photography, you might as well get a good tripod from the very get-go. Because the one that I'm actually recording on right now happens to be an older tripod that is a little more flimsy. And I know this because I've had photo shoots where it was really windy and it just knocks over right away. And that's why I really like the one that I have in my car. And the reason is, is because it has a really nice metal setup and it's extremely durable. And the cool part too is that you can turn it into a monopod in the middle. So just overall, it's a great camera. It has a lot of abilities too to expand further out, lower down. There's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So that brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you guys have a great day today. And let me know if you have any more questions about gear and all that. I will be replying to the comments. And yeah, you guys have a good one. Stay safe. Peace out.